In this video, we're gonna go over Aeroplan Elite status, which is the elite program for Air Canada's most loyal and most frequent flyers. The more you fly with Air Canada and the more you spend with Air Canada, the higher your elite status will be and the more benefits you'll receive when traveling with Air Canada as a status holder. Now, to give you some context, this video will serve as a primer for Aeroplan Elite status based on how the program was introduced in November of 2020. Now, obviously, right now is a bit of a strange time in the world. There's not a lot of flying going on. There's not a lot of traveling going on. So it's quite likely that there will be some modifications to the Elite Status Program for 2021. Those haven't been announced yet, but when they do get announced, and when we know how to qualify for or retain status in 2021, I'll make another video to cover those changes as well. This video will also serve as a precursor to a future video that's gonna be focused on Air Canada's e-upgrades. Now, e-upgrades are a currency that you earn as a reward for qualifying for elite status. We're going to talk about how to earn e-upgrades in this video and then in the future video we'll be talking about how to redeem e-upgrades for upgrading to business class and all of the strategies involved there. So if you're excited for this series of videos, if you're looking forward to learning more about Aeroplan Elite Status, then do me a quick favor and hit the like button down below just as the video is starting out. That really helps the YouTube algorithm share the video with even more viewers and helps even more of us swell the ranks of Aeroplan Elite Status. So we'll begin this video with some key definitions as it relates to Aeroplan Elite Status, then we'll talk about each one of the Elite Status levels one by one, talk about each one of their qualifying requirements and benefits, and then finally we'll talk about a few ways to earn Elite Status without actually flying. Now obviously, the program is geared towards rewarding those who fly with Air Canada, but there are a few ways to actually earn status without flying, and we'll cover those near the end of the video. We'll begin with a list of key terms that we'll be using throughout the video. The three terms that you must familiarize yourself with as it relates to qualifying for status are status qualifying miles, or SQM, status qualifying segments, or SQS, and status qualifying dollars, or SQD. Whenever you fly with Air Canada or a Star Alliance partner airline on an eligible paid fare, then you'll earn status qualifying miles based on the miles that you fly, the total distance that you fly. You'll earn status qualifying segments based on the number of flight segments that you fly, and you'll earn status qualifying dollars based on the dollar value of your ticket, including the base fare and the carrier imposed surcharges, but excluding any government imposed taxes and fees. And as you rack up the status qualifying miles, segments, and dollars over the course of a calendar year, you'll qualify for the various Aeroplan Elite status levels based on the qualifying criteria which are displayed on screen here. Each status level requires you to meet either an SQM or an SQS threshold, in addition to an SQD threshold. Now here's the interesting thing. You can earn SQM and SQS through spending on a co-branded Aeroplan credit card, but there's no way to earn SQD besides flying with Air Canada and the Star Alliance partner airlines and spending money with them. So at the end of the day, you do need to spend a fair bit of money on paid airfare every year in order to have a shot of reaching Aeroplan Elite status and especially some of the higher status thresholds. I should also note that the SQD threshold for each status level will be reduced by a half if you have a foreign address outside of Canada on your account. However, I'd only recommend doing this if you actually have a foreign address that you can prove because Air Canada is well within their rights to ask for proof and they have done so in the past. Now, in addition to SQM, SQS, and SQD, the other two key terms that you need to know about are on the benefits side. There's core benefits and there's select benefits. Core benefits are given to everybody who qualifies for a given status level, whereas select benefits are a bundle of benefits from which you can only choose a certain number. And it'll be up to each member to decide which bundle of benefits to choose at a given status level. And with that said, let's talk about each one of the Aeroplan Elite status levels one by one. First up, we have the entry level Aeroplan 25K status, which you'll qualify for upon earning 25,000 SQM or 25 SQS in addition to 3,000 SQD. Aeroplan 25K status gives you access to the introductory tier of Air Canada travel benefits, including the following. Priority check-in before your flights, priority standby for flights later in the day, two free check bags of 23 kilograms each, priority boarding before your flights, 20 e-upgrade credits, and then you get to choose two out of three of the following benefits. Five extra e-upgrade credits, 
two Maple Leaf Lounge one-time guest passes, and 25% bonus points on flying activity with Air Canada, Copa Airlines, United, Lufthansa, Swiss, Austrian, and Brussels Airlines. Out of those three benefits, I would probably choose the first two, the five extra e-upgrades and the two one-time Maple Leaf Lounge access vouchers. Now keep in mind, I'm speaking as somebody who doesn't travel on paid fares that often. If I did travel on lots of paid flights, then I might actually prefer the 25% bonus Aeroplan points on those earnings. Again, it'll be up to each Aeroplan Elite status member to decide which benefits are best suited to them and best fulfills their needs based on their own travel styles and preferences. So that's 25K, which gives you access to some of the intro benefits. Now you're already coming out ahead as a 25K member through some of the strong benefits like the 25 E upgrades that you can earn. The specifics of which, like I mentioned, we'll discuss in a future video. Now let's talk about Aeroplan 35K status, the next level up, which you'll qualify for upon earning 35,000 SQM or 35 SQS in addition to 4,000 SQD. On top of all the benefits you'll get as a 25K member, you'll also get a third free checked bag and all your bags can be up to 32 kilograms. You'll get priority security clearance at select airports in Canada. You'll get unlimited Maple Leaf Lounge access to the domestic and transborder lounges in North America. You'll also get an extra two one-time passes to the Maple Leaf Lounge. You'll get the standard 20 e-upgrade credits that everybody gets and then you get to choose one out of two of the following benefits. 10 extra e-upgrade credits for a total of 30, or a 35% bonus points on flying activity with the aforementioned airlines. Again, between those two select benefits, I would probably choose the 10 extra e-upgrade credits instead of the bonus points. Now, Aeroplan 35K status is generally a pretty solid mid-tier status to have because you're getting the Maple Leaf Lounge access within North America in the domestic and transborder lounges, you're getting those e-upgrades, you're getting the three free checked bags, it's a good place to be. The next level up is going to be Aeroplan 50k status, which will qualify for upon earning 50,000 SQM or 50 SQS as well as 6,000 SQD. Let's talk about the 50k benefits. On top of the 35k benefits, you'll get priority baggage handling, unlimited access to all Maple Leaf lounges around the world, including internationally, as well as the Air Canada Cafe. You'll also get three extra one-time Maple Leaf lounge passes. 50k members will get 20 e-upgrade credits as a baseline, and then they get to choose two out of four select benefits. 20 extra e-upgrade credits, two status passes, which allows them to bestow the gift of Aeroplan 50k status to a friend or family member when they aren't traveling together, 50% bonus points on flying activity, and a lower requalification level for the following year. Out of those four select benefits, I would probably lean towards the first two, the 20 extra e-upgrades and the two status passes. Now, 50k status with Air Canada also corresponds to Star Alliance Gold status with Star Alliance. So that means that you'll get lounge access all over the world even if you're traveling in economy class as long as you're flying with a Star Alliance airline. And you're also going to be allowed to bring in a guest for free as well. Now obviously earning Star Alliance gold through Aeroplan 50k is still going to require a fair bit of flying and spending. And so as promised, we're going to do a video in the future about the best ways to earn Star Alliance gold without having to do quite as much flying or spending. For now, let's move on to the penultimate status level, Aeroplan 75k, which you'll qualify for upon earning 75,000 SQM or 75 SQS in addition to 9,000 SQD. 75k members will receive 20 e-upgrade credits just like everybody else, and then their incremental benefits are mostly concentrated in the select benefits. They'll get to choose two out of the following six. 35 extra e-upgrades, three status passes, 35k status for a friend, a 12-month Air Canada Wi-Fi plan for onboard Wi-Fi, 75% bonus points on flying activity, or a lower requalification level the following year. Personally, I would choose the 35 extra e-upgrade credits, and then either the three status passes or the 35k status for a friend. Now, status passes allow you to bestow the equivalent benefits of 50k status on three occasions, and so it would depend on whether I wanted to give three friends that 50k experience, or I just wanted to give one friend the 35k experience, but throughout the whole year. Because remember, the status passes 
are only for a single round trip flight. Overall, I kind of feel like 75k status doesn't really offer that much of a meaningful incremental benefit on top of 50k status, at least compared to some of the other status jumps that you can make. However, that's not going to be true for the top tier status, which we're going to talk about right now. Aeroplan Super Elite is the uppermost echelon of Aeroplan Elite status, and you'll qualify for it upon earning 100,000 SQM or 100 SQS in addition to 20,000 SQD. So this is going to be the status level for the true ballers out there, or for the road warriors whose companies pay for their flights. On top of the base level 20 E upgrades, Super Elite members also get to choose two out of the following six select benefits. 50 extra E upgrade credits, four status passes, 50k status for a friend for the year, a 12 month Air Canada Wi-Fi plan, 100% bonus points on flying activity, or a lower requalification level. As before, my choices would be for the E upgrades and either the status pass or the 50k status for a friend. However, it doesn't really matter what my choice is because I'm not a baller. I'm not somebody who spends $20,000 on Air Canada tickets to earn Super Elite every year. If you're an actual Super Elite, you'll tailor your choices based on whatever fits your travel style. Now, in addition, Super Elites also have access to some very special benefits. For one, they're the only Aeroplan members who can redeem their priority rewards for a business class ticket. And if you recall from our video on Aeroplan Sweet Spots, the Aeroplan priority rewards can be very, very powerful indeed. On top of that, Super Elite members don't have to pay any change or cancellation fees on any Aeroplan tickets. And lastly, they get access to a very special benefit called the Concierge. The Air Canada Concierge is essentially a dedicated team of travel specialists who are at the beck and call of Super Elite members and can help Super Elites with basically anything they need along the travel journey. I mean, I've heard stories from Super Elite members where the Concierge has helped them take out their baggage from a plane that's already been loaded when they had to change their plans. And it does seem to me that those little intangibles tend to be seen as the most valuable benefits of Super Elite status and really justifies the $20,000 expense on Air Canada and Star Alliance flights every single year for the most frequent flyers out there. All right, now that we've gone through all of the elite status levels, let's talk about how to earn Aeroplan elite status without actually having to fly. Because even though most of the status levels are geared towards flying and spending with Air Canada, they have left a little bit of a backdoor solution. This is known as everyday status qualification, where any Aeroplan member who racks up 100,000 Aeroplan points in one calendar year through eligible sources will earn Aeroplan 25K status through the end of the following year. So this is a way to earn elite status without having to fly a single mile. Now you'll notice that I mentioned through eligible sources. What exactly does this mean? Eligible sources includes the points you earn from spending on an Aeroplan co-branded credit cards, Aeroplan e-store purchases, or any flying activity that you do undertake. However, it excludes certain sources like credit card sign-up bonuses and transferring points from a different program like American Express or Marriott Bonvoy. That's because it would be way too easy to rack up 100,000 points from credit card sign-up bonuses and from, say, transferring points from American Express. So it's purely based on your spend-based engagement with the Aeroplan program through the Aeroplan co-branded credit cards and through the Aeroplan e-store and flying with Air Canada. Now it still might be relatively challenging for the average person to meet that 100,000 point threshold, but there are a few tricks to pay attention to. For example, the Aeroplan credit cards often do big multiplier promotions. Last year, we saw a 10x points event on Air Canada flights from all of the Aeroplan co-branded credit cards. Similarly, the Aeroplan e-store also does recurring 10x promotions on different days of the year, like Boxing Day or Black Friday. And so if you take advantage of these 10x promotions, then really the total effective spend that you need to make reduces to only $10,000 in order to rack up 100,000 Aeroplan points and qualify for 25k status through everyday status qualification. So you can effectively achieve status every year simply by timing your major purchases around these 10x events on the e-store and on the credit cards. Now, if only the e-store would actually start posting the Aeroplan points properly. Anyway, you would then supplement those earnings with your ongoing spending on your Aeroplan credit card throughout the year, whether that's organic spending or otherwise. 
And so overall, if you're frustrated with the fact that you have to actually fly Air Canada to qualify for Aeroplan Elite status, then you can bury the hatchet by realizing that through everyday status qualification, you can actually earn Aeroplan 25k without having to fly. And like I mentioned at the start of the video, I do believe that we're going to see some changes to Aeroplan Elite status for the year of 2021 to be announced in due course. Because not many people are flying, I don't think it's reasonable to expect people to retain their status through their flying activity. As to whether that'll look like a blanket extension of Aeroplan Elite status or some other way to qualify for or retain status through, let's say, spending or some other non-flying metric, we'll have to wait and see. I hope you've enjoyed the video, I hope it's been a helpful introduction to the Aeroplan Elite Status Program, and if so, please do hit the like button and subscribe to the Prince of Travel YouTube channel. Just click the subscribe button below the video. And hey, if you feel like 25k, 50k, and Super Elite are not the right fit for you, and you would prefer Gold, Platinum, and Royal Platinum instead, then the link to our Patreon service is in the description below, where you can access extra content and a Discord chat server with the community. Let me know in the comments, what do you make of the Aeroplan Elite Status Program? Do you currently hold Elite Status or are you aiming to qualify for a certain Elite Status level? Let me know and I'll see you in the next video. Now to give you some, now to give you, now to give you some context for this video, now to, I should, I should, I should also note, on top of the base level, to,